John is now doing is tack welding and assembling the base plate for the camper. John Graber is doing the welding for me. Just from the cooling. Yeah. Just from the cooling, from, that's pulled two mil. Yeah. And so wow. you do that on every single one, you'll be 20 mil out by the end. I think uh, I'm in good hands. And you'll see the open section there, we're actually going to design into this a table that comes out. It'll be a legless table. I don't mean I don't mean it's a drunk table, I just I mean it doesn't have any legs. I'm Andrew Cynthia White. Join me as I share my passion for building four-wheel drive trucks and traveling to the remotest parts of the world. What I'm hoping to show you this video is the fitting of that base onto the camper. It's at the Podocoters now. I'm hoping to collect it tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. And then we're going to trial fit the camper. That's going to be another major milestone in the build of this vehicle. Right now, though, it's in my garage. I've been spending a lot of time doing all the wiring, wiring box. It started over there. Last night I worked until quite late. Uh, it was actually almost midnight and I have installed the, uh, the DC hub. So we have the input cables coming in here. You can see a few of them there. You can see the DC to DC charger cables coming in there. And you will notice that I have put cable ties. Now the bracket that comes with the DC hub uh, comes with little eyes that have been cut into the bracket and the reason for those eyes is so one can feed in cable ties. So every cable will be fixed firmly and cannot move so everything becomes really solid and I actually got farm doing as much wiring as I possibly can here before I put it in there <coughs> and then when I start running cables to it from inside it's going to be awkward and I'm going to need to be a bit of a contortionist to do that. And it's now in the vehicle and I have finished the wiring and I'm now troubleshooting, testing all the circuits. I found a problem. I think I've done a polarity on one of the circuits incorrectly. I must double check it. But basically it's in and it's... Uh, I actually can't wait for a phone call saying the powder coating is done. Please come and fit the camper. Now what you're looking Hello? Yes. Yes. I was expecting your call. Oh. Fantastic. See you later. Oh, no. False alarm. That was the fertility clinic. Now what you're looking at here is very much a work in progress, so don't judge the fact that it is not very neat. Uh, the access to the Redox DC to DC is via this plug which goes in there and the battery, there's a similar plug for the battery, so once this is all closed up, this apart from that is just um, uh, an area for, for packing things. I've got a plug there for plugging in a fridge and another one there for plugging in external solar panels. Designing this I've had to imagine myself opening the door and coming here to work, access stuff etc. I've removed the drawer, I'm fitting that's inside, I'm fitting that with foam for my cameras. Here is the drawer. I'm cutting the foam to be able to fit two camera bodies and lenses simultaneously and an extra two lenses there. In here typically I'll carry cables batteries, mounts for GoPros, and etc. And that I spent the weekend working on. The inverter is down there, it's easily uh, accessible and it turns on a simple plug strip and then this is a USB power supply uh, used for charging torches, camera batteries. Here's a Victron battery monitor, keeps an eye on everything and a battery charger. These batteries are used for many of my lights, torches and other bits and pieces. And a power bank up the top there uh, with additional USB and power supplies. Back at Quick Pitch, the shim if you like, that gives us a 50 millimeter lift of the camper which is needed and we're soon going to be fabricating the table 
Now these strips of plastic are glued in place. It will allow the table to slide in and out with very little friction. Two layers of powder coat would cause a lot of friction. In this case, it will be the powder coated table sliding on this plastic. There is a little bit of play in the design that will allow for the inevitable dust that will collect on the sliding components. The roof rack has arrived and I'm going to build it here. These are for the gutters, like that. And I'm going to build it here, and what I've got to connect to it, two radio antennas, uh, a spade mount, and small lightweight light bars on the front, and Max Trax brackets. At times I feel like part of the family at Quick Pitch. It's a wonderful working with these guys because so often I will come up with an idea and they will come up with ways not only of accomplishing that idea but improving on it. There's a waterproof gasket and it fits on like that. These things are... So it's nice to actually do work at their workshop really lightweight even though I am occasionally frustrated one of the frustrations I have working here is that I've got to go searching for tools I know where all my tools are maybe I should bring them with me do I need more lights given that I've already got two very powerful spotlights fitted the answer is no not really I chose these lights because they are extremely low profile, as you can see. They are very, very light, which I think is important for um, if you're going to mount them high up, you don't want them heavy. And the beam these things create is a clean letterbox, very little peripheral light, which means you get range. So I think combined with the lights I've already got on it, um, I would have probably overshot the mark when it comes to lights. We are using stainless steel rivets to fix the shim table slider in place. They are incredibly strong. Now to slide in the table. And mint. <laughs> that is actually mint. That is mint. <laughs> it's actually the perfect amount. Yeah. <laughs> that happens a lot in this workshop. I hope this fits. I hear it all, of, all, of, all day. You hear these little, little voices. I hope this fits. <laughs> Time now to do what I have really been looking, looking forward to. Putting the camper on the back. Finally, the day has arrived. Uh, this is of all of the work we've done on the vehicle, the, 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 the most scary. Even scarier than the color is not so much if the camper is going to fit, but what's it going to look like? Drop it on, it just it'll just it'll be a fantastic idea. Yeah. Really good idea. Well, this is, that looks 
something else. Mm. Hey, what do you what do you think? It's it's amazing. <laughs> so is it is it gonna come is it gonna come up? My yes. Mint. Mate, that's mint. Mint. Do you have the block for the ladder? Inside. The part of the hinge that allows the Norwell tray side rails to be fixed is catching on the ladder. Look, if that's the only problem we have, then we're doing okay. He's got a lot. Suits you, sir. Suits me, does it? Suits you, sir. Oh, good. <laughs> what a piece of kit. Fantastic. What a piece of kit. No kit, sir. That's what I'm going to call this video. What a piece of kit. Oh, there you go. We have accomplished a lot today. Time to get onto the beach.